Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Old Brown Lands. That is actually what Tolkien called this part of Middle-earth. And this is the name of the map. It is a 4v4. It is also a very long game. So, you're in for a treat. I hope. God, I hate 4v4s. If you thought I missed the action in 3v3s, you're going to be sorely disappointed now. Anyway, uh, for the left side team, it is Pretty Boy Daxton. Still waiting for that promotion to Big Dick Daxton, but he's playing as Lorien today. Still going for the left side team. It is Mecha Tengu. Uh, he might be drunk. We don't. We, we never know. Like, you actually can't tell the difference. He's playing Doggledore. It's Mr. Brightside, who is Sawman. People keep changing their names, but I see through all of them. And he is playing Rivendell. So, uh, Grey Company start. Oh, yeah. Definite, definite Grey Company start. And to finish it off for the left side team, it is Wombat. I'm not reading that. It is Wombat as Isengard. So, facing them, we've got a Rohan. It is... Pool, always aggressive. It's the other Italian stallion. Now, just watch, just watch him play. He is mega aggressive. He just goes in. Like, you can see where they got their rep in World War One because they just keep going in. They will take those mountains regardless. Also on the right side, it is Naruto. Now, sources tell me this is Shrek. Now, while Shrek is my sworn enemy, my love of Naruto trumps my hatred of Shrek, so I'm going to be rooting for Erebor. Sorry, boys. Also on the right side team, it is Harad. It is Josh, who is uh, pretty decent at the game. And it's another Doggledore. It is Ranya, who is uh, going to be aggressive himself. He's got forward tower for the builders. He's got forward jails. And it's the pretty boy under the kosh to start. Mahood versus Lorien. Well, Josh likes to uh, live dangerously, I suppose, but he has been able to close the distance and get a few Lorien kills. And, oh, help from Sawman. Don't say he never does anything. No, he literally does nothing. But in this one case, uh, he did something. Also, this might be uh, some ominous foreshadowing because uh, Tengu is <laughs> building a spire outside Daxton's base. Um, yeah, forward buildings on this map are obviously a must. Um, it's, it's always the case on these big 4v4 maps where there's, like, choke points and all that. Um, but, yeah, it's always a great... Uh, vote of confidence when uh, there's a spire. Also, the crypt lair. Well, unless you plan on buying unburied whites, the crypts are actually pointless. Those skeletons get a kill, like, maybe once in a blue moon. Okay, ranyard has gone for the stun, and uh, Daxton's also gone for the stun, so mutual stuns, let's go. Mutually assured stunned. And uh, we've also got 2-4 jail, so yeah, this is going to be Battlefield Daxton. Um, I'm not going to be changing through the spells a lot, just because the POV will get annoying in big maps. Um, so I'll change it, like, every tier so we can see what they've got, but I'm not gonna change it like I would a 1v1. Anyway, Malon Tree will be the first casualty of war! There it goes, that builder is very annoyed. Weren't they spearmen in there? Oh no, there are the spearmen, dude. Man, lucky boy Daxton. He's gonna get a four-leaf clover tattooed on his face. Okay, see what I mean? Shrek is basically facing Wombat, but Paul is the one being the aggressive, uh, being the aggressor. He is uh, going to be buying time for uh, Shrek to do his lame strats. Anyway, Yaman Archers versus Uruk Scouts. And he gets the furnace, and we're not going to see who wins that battle, because, yeah, he's already leaving. So, in 4v4s, I mean, if, if Raniel's going spam, I feel like it's very wise for Josh to tech up to yeah, something big. Oh. Obviously, Harad hero spam, very strong. Um, but, yeah, he could go for Mumax, he could go for Monkeys, he could go for um, the Battery Boys, whatever. Um, actual unit, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Alright, Tango's gone with the slow. Which, uh, also does damage, but you'd be forgiven for not knowing that because it's so minor. And, actually, Shrine has been upgraded, which means, you know, okay, I know it's a lot of money and I know you need level 3, but Greater Blight is big. If you can just guarantee the opponent isn't going Siege... Greater Blight. Oh my god, the value of Greater Blight. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. Harbinger's losing? To Risen Dead? Oh my- wait, is that Orifin? Oh yes, Daxton. Yes. Yes. There are no lamers in my scrapbook. He is going with Orifin. No room will start for him. Wait, hold up. The dwarves have gone forward. Lake Towners. Being defended by a uh, Wildman. What the hell is Soulman playing at? He hasn't got great company yet. Wait, does he have... Okay, yeah, they're on their way. Mother! Okay. As soon as he has 1,500, he'll uh, he'll buy it. Oh, never mind. 
You've ruined it. What the actual ruined it. Is he our rule? But I kind of want to check over here because we got a Wombat double team. Oh no, Rohan is pulled back. Forward mine. Getting a bit cocky here. Who's pouring out of the mine? <gasps> Wait, is that Dwalin? Oh, shiver my timbers. That's big. Wombat does have fighting Uruks. He could spam up Berserkers, but... Yeah, Dwalin. Don't mess with Dwalin. Particularly with the dual axes versus, uh, you know, um, like, tier 1 units. I mean, yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, that's going to be a lot of power points for him. Anyway, Rumil protected by Spire. Yeah, that's a good... That's a good combination. And more Mahoodies. I'm not sure Mahood are the, the, the best bet here, but, I mean, if Josh wants to waste money, that's fine. Dwalin just hacking a berserk to death. Wait, Rumil's low. Rumil's low. I heard him low. Might just survive because of the archers there. Okay, yeah, he's going to be fine. Good job, Rumil. Dwalin does have his Inspire Fear. Not sure why he didn't use it there. And early Iron Hills, level 2. I actually want to check if he's got Banner Carriers. Hold up. He did research Banner Carriers. All right. Shrek has done his homework because... Is that a Scorpion? Okay. Well, that, that could be that could be a problem. That could be a problem. I mean, Castellan's going to give armor buff to Daxton's units, but... The Scorpion don't change attack? Wait, is that Ru Wait, hold up. Rumor's low. Leave, leave, leave. Hit with the Poison Stinger from the... Wait, how long does the Scorpion Sting last? Auto heal will... <gasps> you lucky boy. Very lucky. Okay, the double team is still on, but yeah. Obviously, he went early banner carriers because Knotted Strings only works at level 2. And I thought that was Galadriel for a second. I was about to take a shit in anger. Um, Yeah, Sawman is doing nothing. He does have great company. Never mind, Sawman is doing something. It is literally one great cup. Wait, this is the equivalent of Fountain Guard Rush. Sawman, did you learn nothing? <laughs> Okay, actually, it's not the equivalent. Great Company are way better than Fountain Guard, but it, it's it's the same in theory. Okay, Halbrad, Vigo, Wormtongue, and because Rings of Power is uh, back on TV, I almost called him Halbrand for a second, because that freaking nut is uh, on my mind. But yeah, Knotted Strings, just going to ignore armor, obviously effective against uh, heroic units. Look at all those Great Company that just fell there. Dude, Orange Grima looks amazing. You thought I was going to say something bad. No, he looks amazing. There's Kev! And they should tank it. They're Iron Hills, right? Oh my god. Mine launcher as well. Dude, Wombat has got no eco at all. It's not looking good for him. And what did I say about aggressive? The game just started and he's going for Horn of the Westfold. I think with Shrek retreating, I think this is a bad idea. There's a ping here. Oh god, it's looking terrible. It's looking terribly. Double Castellan's trying to defend. The Scorpion should go down. Let's go back to the fort. That's not enough troops. That is not enough troops to take down a fort. Particularly if any sort of rebuild comes in. Oh, the elves have come. The elves have come to save the Wombat Tussie. Let's go. Daxton will literally do anything for some Ussie. And Eowyn is actually going to escape. How the hell does that damsel get through all that? Now, shield, ma shield Maiden of Rohan. They weren't kidding. And one time's not going to die. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, the ping. Tengu, how's the defense? Oh, Tengu popped tier 2, actually. Everyone's getting their tier 2 except one back because skill issue. But yeah, the walls should have cleaned. Wait, house colors on the whites. Oh, they look even better. Oh, the whites do look better. Let's freaking go. Wait, counter attack? Daxton, that's... I want your smoking because that is... No sober man would have done that attack there. No, 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 no. What were you thinking? You didn't even have any... You had one pike. Also, where's, uh, where's Rumel? What happened to him? Say not that he has fallen. Okay, there's a good chance that he might have fallen. Someone pick that up, please. Come on. It's a banner, not a carpet. I kind of like this counter-attack with the two heroes, but if troops come pouring out... Actually, Aragorn's going to be fine. He's one level away from uh, a fire shall be woken. Which is just perfect for Rivendell Hero Squad. I imagine that's what he's going for. Ooh, Balin's on the field. Nice. We're going to put it on Erebor Cam. Just for, just for Naruto. Actually, I don't want to hear Balin's AI voices. Crap. Okay, they're going to get away. They're going to get away. Scot-free. This map is practically begging out for sneaky battering rams. Like, 
Battering Ram's obviously very small on the minimap. You could easily sneak it here and take out Tengu. Oh, man. That would easily work. That Karen is going to do Jack S. Okay, Mumak is on the field. Okay, you. Okay, pay, pay attention because Rudel's going to teach you something. Mumax, without Pike and Archer Resist, are trash. They are terrible. But you level up this thing to level 3 and then you get Archer Pike Resist on Mumax, they do not die. They are amazing units. I am the one they call Ironfoot. That sounded terrible. But yeah, if you want to use Mumax, just pay the extra money and get the level 3 upgrades because the the extra damage he gets at level 2 is not enough. You need the, the sturdiness. Okay, forward well. I think he's just going to be making Lake Town Spears and, and uh, crossbows. I think that's basically his whole strat here. Uh, ooh, Glorfindel's on the field. So, we're going to see basically Rev uh, Rivendell hero spam versus Oakenshield hero spam. If anyone will give Rivendell a run for its money, it's actually Oakenshield hero spam. It depends if uh, Shrak can use the uh, Feely stun effectively or not. Here they go. You see what I mean? Balls to the wall. Pool does not care. Never tell this man the odds. It doesn't look like Harad's attacking, so we'll just stay here. There's a fire shall be woken. Which buffs every hero you've got, by the way. Oh, look at that. Extra armor on Glorfindel, like he needed it. Let's go. Wait, hold up. Counter-attack by Tengu and... Necromancer? Dude, Tengu playing well? And I think that's Rumel back. It is. And Clump City. Necromancer, get in there. Get in there. Get in there! Don't you dare leave without swinging. There's one, but that's not enough. Look at this clump. You gotta punish it. Ignore the movement. Ooh, a porridge red getting huge. Wait, no, that's not a porridge red. That's risen dead. Uh oh. Leave, leave, leave. Mumax fallen. There it is. Ooh. Wait, hold up, hold up. There's a clash top. Knotted strings on the heroes. Who's who's being focused? It's Aragorn. Nice. Takes out Aragorn. No more fire shall be working. Manganel's attacking with the siege. They're going to try and take out Wombat quickly here. Great Company holding the line. Great Company actually using skilled hunters. Nice. I guess when you only got two units on the field, it's easy to micro. Hold up. <gasps> Gandalf the Grey is here. You shall not pass. Let's go. Okay, just drop every ability. Gandalf's can't. Don't forget. It's, uh, even let's risk a little more light. But yeah, not enough cover for the Manganels. There's lightning sword, the vanilla in me is euphoric, let's go! That used to just one shot, well not one shot, it used to kill Gimli though in vanilla, that's how good it was. Okay. Actually, could it kill Gimli? Maybe not, maybe not Gimli, but most other heroes. Manganel siege in the fortress! Actually no, they're hitting the mine launcher. Yikes, fireball one shots the uh, Iron Hill crossbows, that's a big deal. And Manganels, the last of their protection is gone. And yeah, tier 3, doing the business for um, uh, for Rivendell, for Sawman. So, Daxton has the eco buff, which is also um, rebuild. I think Shrek was under the... Imp Did you just stun it? That is such a Daxton move. Stunning the builder, really? That is such a Daxton move. Yeah, Josh is just wasting so much money. That move is going to die. But yeah, I think Shrek was under the impression that they were winning down here because uh, he had that Siege Works very far forward. Wait, a hero might have actually just died there. No, he got back up. And there's 1600 down the drain. But yeah, the rebuild's gonna be valuable, particularly with the uh, Wombat on the back foot here. Tower, uh, invisible. Four defenses is basically a heroic statue. Does not have Tenebrous Bows though, which is, uh, is it Tenebrous Bows or Buffs? English is so, like, uh, well, whatever. Okay, Air the Sun Rises, nice stun there. More Manganels coming in. I think uh, Shrek would be wise to wait for Siege. And there's Gandalf's little cart. <gasps> Veterans of the Lost Alliance! Cool! Okay, we're going to put on Rivendell Cam. We want to hear them. There we go. We definitely don't want to be on DG Cam. That's so annoying. Alright, a little bit of a 4A self. Nothing happened. I'm not yet done. <laughs> He's got triple Castellans. <laughs> So, basically, if one Castellan will fall, he'll still have the armor buff. You know what? I actually like it. We Tengu's fort is safe on the home front. 
but Daxton's is at constant risk, so the Castellan's is actually a wise play. Okay, here we go. Look, Paul going in again. Paul is crazy. There's one on the Westfold. Misses the Cav because they already went in. Ere the sun rises, there's just nothing but fear resist in there, so that does nothing. Not at strings, though. <gasps> Wait, that wasn't great company, was it? That wasn't great company. They just got mowed down, was it? Where's great company? Was that them? <gasps> that was them! Oh my god, not its strings! That's insane. Okay, fortresses. Okay, rebuild from there it is. That's that's the one rebuild they've got. That's the only one they've got. Um if if Sawman gets Kyodan, then they get another one. Theoden low. Dude, Theoden is so hard to level up, man. So hard to level up. And Manganels. There's still one going. Lurtz does fall. But the rest of the heroes will secure it. Dwalin won't be able to save it. And, oh, Elven teleport. Nice ping. The brothers Rumil are here with Necromancer. I don't think you needed to TP Necromancer. <gasps> one Tongue falls. No, the impossible happened. And if I'm Shrek, I'm telling my teammates to attack because uh, they just all TP'd up here. Yikes. Okay. Wombat has got no money. He's res probably no CP either. He's resorting to... That's a lot of points. We've almost had Bombadil. Hold up. Attack here. Siege Moomax. Okay, they'll, they'll be able to last a little bit longer. Galadriel's on the field. I like the extra armor buff. She needs... She's gonna need to level up first, but, um, a tad. There are the Backstreet Boys. They're here. There we go. He's actually made the Backstreet Boys. I don't know why. There's a counter-attack. Bombadil hasn't come out yet. I will wait. Ooh! There's all the whites. Did he actually go with Greater Blind? He did! Yes, Tengu, you did! Okay, nice, 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 nice. Alright, Bombadil's on the field, but we're gonna... We we'll click away once we see him used. We bring word from Elrond of Actually, I think we're fine. Alright, here come the hero spam. He's got Feely on the field. Ballista have been made. Again, Paul going in deep like a mad lad. And if there are heroes on that fort, then this fort is not surviving. There will be no rebuild to save! And Wombat loses the fort. That better not be his last builder. Shh, I say he's lost his builder. I think he probably he probably has another one. I didn't see any others losing, or uh, any others uh, falling there. And if you just wanted to know how tanky Theodred and Urkenbrand are, he was running with Glorfindel on his tail for a long time there. Good job, Solman. You let your teammates fort die. All right, with that they might they might need to push now. Oh, Ring of Adamant! Okay, I didn't see Ring of Adamant. Here we go. She's still only level 2, though. The Ring of Adamant is just so satisfying to use, man. I mean, look at the size of that ring. It is huge. Necromancer and Galadriel fighting side by side. I'll take things I've never heard for- Oh! Yeah, that does friendly fire. I think it just nuked your team. Uh, they're just elves, it doesn't really matter. But you got the Moomak, and that's what counts. Again, knotted strings. The answer to the hero spam, I think uh, if I was... Uh... Wait, Bombadil. <gasps> oh my Willow! Let's go! Sonic Song? Sonic Bong? Wait, where'd they go? Hey, you're Sonic Bong? Yeah, good joke. That's not going to do anything. Okay, what if we... What if we... Okay, man, should I totally replace this with a bong? It to Look at the way his hand is. That could totally work. But yeah, the tier 4 is coming in. Theoden versus Tom Bombadil! And Glorfindel killing... Um, whoa, they're all dead! Nice! Tengu again with the kill. But yeah, a lot of Rohan heroes dying. Shrek is going to have to pick up the pieces. I do not. Uh, no, I think you should be fine. Oh, Sonic Song, yes! That was beautiful. Bombadil versus the entire company of Thorin. Oh, you love it. Oh, that was so good. Dude, Sonic Song just one-shot all those Iron Hills. Look! This is all that's left of that. That's insane. Okay, he has gone with Lancers. I was going to say, like, he should probably get Cav if it's Archers that are, uh, uh the problem. Alright, Oasis for Josh. Ooh, Kelleville on the field. Already level 6. Daxon's gonna be mad that I missed that, but it was Bombadil. It was Bombadil. I think Bombadil takes priority.
Well, that was definitely a, a shift. Wombat... Yeah, I didn't see any orange on the map. Wombat is actually out. This is 3v4 at the moment. That's probably why they're rushing it, because they know if they just wait, they're going to get outnumbered and destroyed. So yeah, they're pushing it. The tier 4 did a number on pool, so this will give them the chance. Ranyov's fort is unupgraded! I mean, he's got the bats, but I mean, unupgraded! As the sun rises, again, fear resist just all the way. Thank you, Caliborn leadership, not OP at all. And yeah, there's no way this fort gets Caliborn off it. No way. Who's going to get the XP? It's going to be Idriel! So, emergency heals. Yeah, I think Josh's strat might have been a bit of a mistake. Like, Moomax are fun, but again, without the upgrades, it's, it was a bit of a waste of money. Wait, how'd you die? What the hell? Okay, well, Rumil's dead. And Necromancer should be level 10 by now. Okay, yeah. Wait, hold up. <gasps> With demolishers? Cavalry are chasing him. Able to counter the basically everything that's there. Uh, Demolishers are good at man. Demolishers are tanky. Ultimate siege machines. But even they cannot make it through. Also, I'm pretty sure I just heard more Moomax. Yeah, he's. Why are you making more? Well, whatever. Okay. Oaken Shield Hero Spam. Glorfindel forced to retreat. Glorfindel might fall. No, no straight arrows, unfortunately. Wow. Even with the armor buff from Aragorn. Wait. Feely? Oh, sorry. Keely? Not there. Uh... Yeah, the Glorfindel retreat was mega surprising, and Solman's Fortress isn't upgraded either. This might be. I mean, if more if more dwarves just quickly drop in, this could actually be a problem. He's gonna build a forward mine so he can get reinforcements in there quickly. And I'm not sure why he's going in here. I mean, there's Garden of Athelion for the heal, but that's not going to tank fort plus double vets. Courage for our friends here, thanks a lot, but... Yeah, I think Eowyn's dead here. Wait, what's Feely? Wait, 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 wait. What's Keely doing? Oh, they're trying to get Glorfindel, the snipe! Dude, only Shrak. Only Shrak would be so daring, just when you think you're safe. Wait, that was a nice slam. That was from Dane? Very nice. Yeah, but Glorfindel is dead. That's got a lot of money down the drain now. He's gonna... Well, not down the drain. He got good value, but... A lot of money he's gonna have to invest to uh, get him back. And he does have the fort upgrade, so he does have rebuild if he gets Kyrdan. And he's not popping the abilities. I think he wants to see if he can get... Thunderbolt value. Again, sticking with the Backstreet Boys. I'm not sure if this is, uh... The right play, but whatever. Ah, oh, man. Oasis. Wait, that's a that's a teleport. Those are those are Daxton's troops. She's got Storm Queen. Oh yeah, she's gone full storm. Here we go. Guy Ladriel mode engaged. Just kidding, that's not that crunchy. Here we go. Actually, wait, they're all they're on the fort. The rebuild came in. Who do I look at? Storm Queen or the heroes? Ah, uh, okay. Shrak tried to be extra daring, but undone by the rebuild. Two heroes fall. Balan and Dwalin. Here come the demolishers again, but backing up a graveyard because Lorien were here to help out. And Tengu, why? <laughs> Dude, it's a freaking party. Everyone's here. Uh-oh. Shrek just hit tier 4. What if I just summon a Leshen? Okay. Uh-oh. 10k, 10k, 10k. Wait, hold up. Dragon versus Great Company. The Biffy 2 versus. Well, we're gonna see it. We're gonna see it. Dragon versus Great Company. Let's see how they do. Oh! <laughs> Dude, Kyrdan gave two shits. Oh my goodness, he one-shot him. He also one-shot some dwarves as well, friendly fire. Dude! What the hell happened? Solman's fort is still up. Oh, actually, hold up. Come on. Okay, well, we're never going to see the damage, apparently. Dude, who's pinging? Oh, that might be Josh. Josh might be pinging. Dude, Tengu... I mean, Leshens can do amazing building damage, but he sacrificed that to defend his teammate. But he's got Ravages, and they're... they're, they're not too shabby themselves. There's the uh, armor buff. See you later, Mumak. Rebuild, that was from Erebor. 
but it's not going to be enough. Do Tomb Guard, Necromancer, Kamul, Hub, do, yeah, yeah, you, that's, that's not going to get stopped anytime soon. That's just so much, oh, and Carnage as well. Oh my goodness, there are so many factions that when they get going, they're just good. It's so hard to rank them, but Dogledore is certainly up there. And the Backstreet Boys failed, that's, that's a shame. Man, they got close to getting... They got close to getting Soulman's base. But as I said, Rivendell Hero Spam is obviously very strong, and, uh... Like, a few... Like... I feel like any other faction would have probably crumbled to, uh... Oaken Shield Hero Spam on your fort. Because that's so hard to get rid of. Another thing to mention is that... Daxon has Ring of Adamant, but he also has Nenya on Galadriel, which is... One is a 50% armor buff on structures, and the other one just makes your structure immune, so... Uh, I hope Daxton doesn't forget to use that if the time comes. But yeah, Ranyar is basically Dunzo. Yeah, Ranyar is Dunzo, and uh, Josh is basically done too. So from a 3v4 to a 3v2... Although Josh has a, another... Sorry, Ranyar has another fortress. So... Three versus two and a half. Raise shields, point your spears, and prepare for war. Man, that was uh, that was not looking good. Okay, so Daxon's at tier four. I think he's actually going to try and get some tier four value here. Rohan is also very close. Darkness for uh, Ranyar. Bombadil almost back, Ultra Fire and Gandalf and Breath of Manu ready to go. And is Daxon going to attack here? Is he just going to try this 1v1? There's cast down his walls! Caliborn heroic, level 10 Caliborn! And there's Nenya again. Nenya business. Dude, Storm Queen as well, hit the fort with Nenya! Or, sorry, with Storm Queen? Hit the fort, she does so much building damage! 300% damage to structures, what are you doing? Take down the fort, no, not the troops! Oh, dude. Dude, some amazing action here. Wait, dwarves are on the fort too! Ultra fire? Oh god, cap charge. It's Turin Turimba! Oh my goodness. <gasps> Demolishes! They're gonna make it! Uh, Sawman? One Demolisher falls! There's rebuild from Kidan. Oh, the Demolishers, they do make impact, but not enough. Fortress goes down. Dude, level 10 Celeborn? Was it that? When did he level them up? It was like level 1. I checked one little battle here, and then she comes back level 9. Oh, dude, Eagle from the Fort. Very nice. Who's on the Fort? Uh-oh. It's King Thorin. He's wearing his crown. Kid, <laughs> still just chilling. And they get the fort. So man, you better have a builder, I swear. But yeah, the heroes aren't gonna make it out. This is a one-way trip. Halo Reach moment, where nerds cried. And Thorin does fall. Yeah, that was a nice little push. Cast down its walls. And then, I mean, the Celeborn Summon probably would have been enough to uh, tank everything while Galadriel just, uh, you know, destroyed it. Yeah, that was that was a good attack. I wow, I Daxter might be on a run as high because he's still going for it. And Tengu out for blood, <laughs> dude. Nothing escapes the uh, eyes of the White Tengu. <laughs> he's just going everywhere. And yep. <laughs> Smart move, Shrek. He is leaving. Level 10 Castellan, let's go. Wait, um... Where's Glorfindel? Those are the... Those are heroes from Pool, literally all that's left of his army. I need to check Glorfindel's level when he comes back, because they are all such high level. It makes me wonder that, uh... Uh, he... Oh no, there's Glorfindel. He did use the XP buff. There it is, Light of Aman, okay. 
So I think we're just going to gear up for the final assault. Which, uh, oh boy. Oh boy, that could take a while. That could take a while. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I'm probably going to cut to when the final battle happens, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, might be gearing up for the final attack. Daxton, going to be the vanguard. Going in again. Dude, this kid is definitely on a high. But level 10 Galadriel, can you blame him? Also, Bombadil in reserve, ready to go. Just needs to say the word. Storm Queen, Storm Queen. Dude, Storm Queen is so strong, but it's... It's, uh... Not often you get Galadriel to level 9, so... <gasps> there it is! Let's go! Frozen Westfold is in mid -air. <laughs> Tengu actually using tier 4s correctly. Using their abilities as well. This is crazy! And there's the other tier 4. There is Wrath of the Barina. Alright, Bombadil. Sonic Bomb. Versus... Open Brain. Very nice. There's Flood. Come with that with cast down its walls, and I think that should be GG. That's a fully upgraded Dwarven Fortress, though. He's got oil casks. He's got the moat. It ain't over yet. That could be a problem. Uh oh. He's back, and Paul claims the gold. That's 20k now. Our hero's falling. Thorin versus Caliborn. Caliborn low himself. Orphan's still in full health, though, which is surprising. Dwalin just gonna keep hitting him? And I think that should be it. That should be the end of the fortress. Oh, that was actually, that was, that was, that, that was Dorkador Convert. Oh shit, it was. Alright, Mario will pretend to do stuff. I think the heroes actually died to the Convert though. That's gonna suck. <laughs> oh man, but that won't be enough, sadly. Sadly for the top team, or the right side team, it is not gonna be enough. Good karting from Sawman. Actually, that's right into Tengu's army. It needs to be... Oh, never mind. The dragon just does not care. The dragon has a hate boner for Sawman. Can you blame him? <gasps> walls! We reached walls! Yes! I thought they priced you out in the great nerf of 2021, but oh my god. Walls are back. Wall value. Oh, that's so nice. But yeah, that dragon just ignored Dorgledore's army. That was, uh... That was kind of funky. Ah, uh, yes. The pink-whites. Let's go. Let's see. <laughs> game recognizes game. Now they're dead. Anyway, this was a pretty awesome game. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, I think I'll I think I'll end it when uh, Shrax Fortress goes down. Unfortunately, changing your name to Naruto does not make you as cool as Naruto. Try again. And uh oh, no way, Josh! That was your final gambit. <laughs> I mean, that would work if they weren't you know buffed to hell and back. Wait, that was Dwalin. Oh shit, Dwalin level ten. But not gonna be enough. Not gonna be enough. Everyone on Dwalin, please. Oh shit, the oil cars were enough. The oil cars kill a lot there. If you wanna know just how much damage he was taking, he was fully buffed with his uh, final ability, which gives him a huge ton of armor. There's Shrax Fortress going down. Man, all that. And they still had the Rivendell Hero Goon Squad in reserve. There goes the fort, just pulls fort remaining. And that will be GG. There's cast down as well. Very nice. Yeah, that was a nice uh, that was a nice comeback. Because they were definitely behind first half. That was cool. That was like the best kind of game. Like a stalemate, nothing happens. A stomp, too easy. But yeah, a good back and forth is what we want. And there it is. Boom. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out. Goodbye.